Okay, so I finally got my lithium ion batteries, lithium iron phosphate, LifePo batteries. Um, I've been watching a bunch of videos by uh, David Paz and uh, Will Prowse, I think that's how you say his name. I'm um, trying to get into solar. I uh, want to, I guess, run a few circuits off of this uh, battery bank that I'm building here. Um, solar panels aren't, aren't here yet. I've got a bunch of stuff on order, but I finally made my way down to Ben Salem, PA and uh, talked to the guys at Battery Hookup and they hooked me up. Um, kind of interesting story. I'll have to show some of the pictures I took um, on my ride down there. Uh, evidently the night before I went down there were some, uh, some pretty heavy rains and one of the warehouses kind of the parking lot flooded out. So I drove all the way down there and they didn't really have a way of uh, getting me this battery because it was over at the flooded out parking lot. But um, kudos to battery hookup. Uh, I believe it's Kevin and Bill. Hope you got your names right. Uh, they were able to hook me up. They actually pulled one out of storage. Um, was able to drive the uh, forklift through a little bit of water. Um, like I said, I'll link the pictures because I actually pulled my truck back up into about two feet of water. But everything turned out well. We got it on a truck. This thing is heavy. My son and I pulled it out of the back of my truck and we put it on this little tool chest on wheels. But I'm not putting the battery bank in the garage. I'm putting the battery bank in my basement. So my son and I can't carry this um, too easily. We probably could do it, but it's, it's just, I don't want to crush fingers. I don't want to put holes in walls. So I think I'm going to take it apart and take out the individual cells, the, uh, the five, I think there's, I think there's uh, five P and two five P's or four five P's or five S. I don't know, I'm new to this. And two four S's, four P's. I don't know if they're in parallel series. Um, I'll figure it out when I open it up. Anyway, there's six individual batteries within this one. Um, and we'll be able to transport them into the basement a lot easier that way. So I figured I'd make a quick video of me disassembling this and uh, let's get started. They got a little flooding today. That's my batteries. 24 volts each. I make two 48 volt batteries out of four of them. My other battery's locked in by a bunch of other stuff.
This thing's heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it's heavy. I also picked up four of these. BYD, 24 volt. Should get, I should be able to make a 248 volt. Fairly easy. We'll find out. take the batteries out. I'm going to take them out and uh, clear some space in the basement. But basically, got some different camera angles going on. This is all one big experiment. But uh, take the six batteries out up here, put them in the basement, and then uh, kind of wrap this up. Um, it looks like I'm going to get two 48 volt batteries out of this by wiring these up in, I believe, series. Um, but I'll check. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use these, see them up there, these little mounts for for the BMS. Who knows? I'll open them up, see what, ha see what happens. I don't think I'm going to use this case. I think I might just use uh, the batteries individual and maybe put them on a bench. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I'm doing. So whatever. Comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, and then uh, maybe I can uh, start doing things right. But making progress.
batteries out of the uh, metal container they're in um, <clears throat> and in my basement. Uh, that was, a, that was a lot of work for six batteries, but I'm going to um, I'm gonna test them out, see what uh, readings I'm getting, see how many volts I'm getting each one. I might even series up three to see if I can get 48 volts or see what I get. Like I said, I'm new to this. So uh, I'm just gonna keep the cameras running, probably speed it up when I'm working and uh, slow it down maybe to give the readings and stuff like that. But uh, hey, making progress. Thanks for sticking with me. volts. <clears throat> I don't know how charged they are. Um, and I'm not going to attempt to charge them yet. Uh, still probably got to pry these off. Get some uh, BMSs on here. Um, that's going to take a while. That'll be another video. But uh, because again, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. I guess 56 volts will work. I'll have to do um, uh, discharge these, do a discharge test and see how much uh, I get. But uh, waiting for stuff to come in so uh, I can do all this stuff. So I'm just gonna leave them here for now and wait for my stuff to come in from eBay, BMSs, and I uh, got some fuses, uh, other stuff. So uh, until then. See you. All right, so I got a new SD card for my camera <clears throat> and I'm just testing it out. That's all this video is. It's, um, I'm going from a two gig card to a 128 gig card. So I'm hoping maybe I'll get more than five minutes of camera, uh, you know, recording time before uh, my camera shuts down. Anyway, um, that's it.